what's in the box? All right, got a shipment here from Midland Radio. Welcome to the Snake Pit. In a world of cell phones, do you need two-way radio? Absolutely. At least that's my opinion. Maybe it's your opinion. If you're here watching the video, at least you're, you know, considering your options. I'm uh, pretty excited about this. I have a little bundle kit here, a little bundle package from Midland Radio. And basically it comes with a, a nice little unit you can install in your vehicle. And then, of course, two handheld radios here. These are GMRS, so General Mobile Radio Service. They do require an FCC license. Don't click off. Don't be scared. Real easy to get. I just got mine recently, uh, not too long ago, and went to the FCC website. I'll put that link down below and plugged in my info. At the time I did it, it was 70 bucks. That may scare you off, but it was 70 bucks for 10 years. Now that covered me, my family. It's actually pretty lenient because it, it covers the in-laws as well. So, all right, you can debate on, uh, you know, the, the fact that we have to pay for a license to use a dang radio. However, what this gets you over your traditional walkie-talkies is a lot more wattage, which equates to longer distance, right? A better range. So, with GMRS, you can get up to 50-watt radios and compare that to like your normal walkie-talkie on the uh, FRS the the family radio service band those are like half watt up to two watt and most of them are half watt that you buy so two watt max you can see and the GM, GMRS shares those same radio bands and then they have some more there's like 30 channels here plus you get repeater capability so, some people think of this as the stepping stone for ham radio. You know, yeah, that's probably true. I, th I like to think of it currently as just better versions of uh, walkie-talkies, better versions of two-way communication. And, uh, yeah, I grew up around CB radios. My dad was a truck driver. I drove over the road for a couple years before I joined the Air Force. And, you know, CB radios, those are 4 watts max. You can get, yeah, single sideband, uh, 12 watts with those, but compare that to a 50-watt radio on the FM versus an AM of a CB. All right. So this, some people say this may be the future or it is currently transitioning into the future. If you're a truck driver currently, let me know down in the comments below. I'm kind of interested in that. Are you using GMRS or are you still in the CB or are you using both? Because I'm going to have both in my vehicle. So my plan here for this video, it's already probably too long for you, but um, I'm going to do a tabletop, let you know what's in these packs here. First off, this bundle here is $209. Midland Radio has some free shipping for anything over 100 bucks. Right now they actually have free shipping for anything. It's like a Valentine's Day at the time of filming this. So uh, check them out. I'll put their link down below. You can also get their stuff off Amazon, that type of thing. The normal, the normal ways. Sorry, I think I just hit the camera. But I'm going to install this one in my truck. So I'm going to do a dedicated video, install in my truck, my F-150, and do a little range test on it. Then a dedicated video on the handhelds here with range testing, kind of show you the ins and outs of using the. All right, let's take a look at what's inside the box for the MXT-115. This is the unit I'm going to install in my F-150. 15 watts. Look how small this, this is. Let's just compare it to one of Midland's CB radios. <laughs> Amazing. So much smaller. What I do like is, right off the gate, you get the... Um, DC adapter that can plug into your cigarette lighter or a lot of vehicles have the auxil auxiliary port that you can plug this in so you don't have to hardwire it into your uh, battery or buy a separate adapter type of thing. The mic is really awesome because it includes channel up 
channel up and channel down features and then you know you do get your attachment so you can hang your mic wherever you want let's let me look at the bracket real quick yeah it looks like I don't see a place for it to screw into the bracket so we'll have to find a place on my uh, in my vehicle to attach that it does have sticky side tape or you can screw it in same with the bracket you can either use this double-sided velcro or you can screw it in to do a hard mount uh, with the bracket and they do provide some hardware another thing with this kit you do get a little magnetic antenna here look how small that is <laughs> amazing we'll see uh, this is like a 19 foot cord here cable uh, so we'll see how well the range stacks up or, or holds up for this uh, little 15 watt gem. That's what's inside of there. All right, here's what's inside the GXT Pro 1000 little two pack here, and uh, don't expect to reuse the box, the packaging. You have to savage it open. At least I did. Two radios, of course. You do have clips that you can install, belt clips. You do have two earbuds with mic that you can install. That's that's pretty nice. It does come with two rechargeable battery packs. You can also substitute double A's in here. Uh, let's see, I think it's four that goes in there. And there's your little plug-in for your base charge station. It would be nice if you could plug these in directly to a USB, but that's not how these are set up to work. Just keep that in mind. They do click in pretty nice. Overall, it's a really nice size in the hand. It's like basically perfect. I love it. So that's what's inside the box. Again, click the subscribe button. Click the bell. I'm going to do a dedicated video actually using these. And I'm going to do a dedicated video installing the MXT-115 into my truck. Take a look. Stick around. GMRS. Yay or nay? I'm thinking it's some good stuff. Get you some good range. I'm interested in the uh, truckers out there. Are you using this stuff over uh, CB radio? Or are you sticking with the CB? Let me know. Post up your comments down below. Pretty excited about this. Excited to do the next videos and get some testing out there.